welcome and thank you for joining us at Our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're reflecting on God's closeness with his people. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Put to one side the events of today as you ease out the tension in your body. Come now, as you are, to hear the word of the Lord. This is the place to be still before God, allowing him to fill you with his awesome presence and infinite love. Lord God, may I feel your closeness to me tonight. Soothe my worries, ease my pain, calm my thoughts. My heart and mind are yours. Speak your words of love and comfort, for I am listening. The Lord said to Moses in Exodus chapter 25 verse 8, Have them make a sanctuary for me and I will dwell among them. Is there somebody you miss? Someone whose presence you long for? God felt that too. Once sin entered the human race, we could no longer enjoy God's presence. There was a vast separation. It wasn't human beings who worked to bridge the chasm. It was God. God gave Moses detailed instructions for an elaborate, movable structure for the Israelites to create in the desert. It wasn't simply a venue for performing ceremonies. It was a place for God to dwell among his people as they journeyed. It was a sanctuary, rich in symbolism, which represented God's home in heaven. At the heart of it was the Ark of the Covenant, where God would dwell in the midst of the people he had rescued from slavery in Egypt. How personal is our God? He wants more than to just save his people. He wants to draw near to us and live right in our midst. Do you sometimes feel like you are going through life alone? Come aside now and know the Lord who walks each step with you. As we turn to prayer, Breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart and become aware of the presence of our almighty God who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. Breathe in and out. And in 
and out. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, that I never take one step or even one breath on my own. Your dwelling place is right here with me. Lord, I long for the day I am finally with you in heaven. Until then, help me to seek and rest in your presence through my days on earth. Come and fill me with your love and goodness tonight. Exodus chapter 29 verses 45 to 46 says, I will dwell among the Israelites and be their God. They will know that I am the Lord their God who brought them out of Egypt so that I might dwell among them. I am the Lord their God. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, you alone are the Lord. How good it is that you are here with me, looking at me with eyes of love. Strengthen me for the journey ahead and fill me with rejoicing at the thought that you the Lord of heaven and earth are always beside me. Amen. <laughs>